Back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, Nick Stubbs. We're here in Venice with Federal Empire. How's hey, it going, man? It's good this morning. How about you? Man, uh, even though we have all this June gloom, it's uh, pretty nice. We're next to the beach, so Perfect. can't complain. You can't get any better than this. Absolutely. Eh, maybe a little sun. You probably could. If you could maybe it, just you a little. Bring it out. There's some people flying out there with their bikes. I can dig it. Flying planes and advertising. It's good. <laughs> so what are you going to be playing for us? Uh, I never liked your friends. All right, go for it. All right. I wish you well Even though you're sleeping with somebody else You said go to hell But I wonder if that's how you feel Where'd you learn how to talk like that? You know one day you're gonna wanna change it back I think I know who fed you all those lies I never lied Strung out and feeling down. Well, maybe it's the company you're keeping around. Where'd you learn how to act like that? You know, one day you're gonna wanna change it back. I think I know who's messing with your mind. I never liked you. Dude, solid. Yeah, it was fun. I got a little slippy right in there, but it's all right. I mean, you know, it'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. So I think wow. we can all relate to that. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, hear about the woman that brought that about. God, I mean, the thing was... Or which really, one? <laughs> it was really more of a collective idea that 
everybody has had that relationship and oh for sure you know where you a few of them yeah (laughs) one or two to say the least so yeah it was that idea of like coming home after you know a week's worth of work or whatever and having to go and hang out with your partners friends and you couldn't stand them and it it really the subject came up because one of us was having a huge fight and he couldn't come up with a good enough cut down because she was burning him so hard (laughs) in that and it's like well you know what i never liked your friends and it's like, oh, <laughs> what you mean? Not everyone in this planet is like a good person and like has value. Well, everybody appears perfect. I mean, hashtag tea, social media. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can make any life you need on social media, right? Very true. It's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about you guys as a band. The one thing I really enjoy is the fact that you have a very similar like approach to how you guys got together, like Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, which right. is kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, so would you mind telling our viewers a little bit about it? What, what really ended up happening was McKay and I had the same manager, and um, we got together just out of wanting to write. We got, we got along, and we were like, let's put together a, you know, just a writing day, and we'll take these songs and pitch them to DJs and, and kind of what's needed in the business, because both of us had been in bigger bands. He'd been in the Vibrant Sound, and written some big hits before for other people and I had a band called Carolina Liar so like let's a band was never really in the scope of the whole thing that's kind of where like magic really does happen though where you're not trying yeah and that's really rare because everything in this town is always about trying you're you're always up to something I hear it is a plastic city a little bit it's a little plasticky it is (laughs) but you know sometimes you get something good you get something like this where it it we really required no effort whenever we're writing like we'll we can do one of these songs in about an hour because whenever it comes up what the kind of the the core of the song all of us have these stories that we can contribute and it's really kind of a collective thing of the three of us when we write together like this is really our life and it communicates like we can laugh about this stuff and tell the same stories and sing these songs to people and do it nightly because it's real for us absolutely yeah so that makes a big difference well not to mention like when i first came on set with you guys you were just so chill and just like let's just have fun let's do this and we're kind of in this whole like situation where we look like we're all about to get married or something (laughs) (laughs) we just might still Uh, early man i mean it is venice (laughs) and it's sunday True. Come on. <laughs> uh, so let's get a little uh, deeper and talk about like what are some main like problems you have going on in life right now that are outside of this that really helps like uh, make the music better for you. I, I mean, f- for us, they really we are politically motivated and for a good cause. There's you know complete injustice everywhere that we go right now. We just released a single called "What Are We Fighting For," and in that we kind of uh, we don't kind of we we approach the idea that you know it's it's 2017 and. We don't need to be having wars anymore. Why are these children fighting? Who are we fighting these kind of wars for? And this kind of the bureaucracy that's going on and and the things that are happening with this administration with something like Trump being in place. And and it's not so much that people, the frustrating part is that people are getting had by this guy. Very true. It's just a con. And there are people that we care about who are from the East Coast and people who have voted for somebody like this person that we're not trying to tell them what they did was wrong. It's just they don't see how much this person is just manipulating them. Well, perspective really is everything, and without it, you can follow uh, blind leaders. Yeah, Yeah. that's it. What is it, the the one-eyed man in the land of the blind is king? Is that the phrase? I haven't heard that in a while. Speaking of biblical on (laughs) Sunday. (laughs) So, all right, guys. uh, I know that you guys just cut a new EP, and can you tell us a little bit about it? I know that uh, one of the singles on there just hit a uh, uh, chart topper. Can you get a little bit uh, into that? Yeah, the latest single that uh, Chad was talking about, What Are We Fighting For, is number one on Hype Machine right now. We just released it this week. Um, so we've been doing this whole run of shows to promote it and everything up and down the West Coast, which has been a ton of fun. The EP overall, that song, I Never Liked Your Friends, that we just played is on there. The American Dream, a few other really good songs at Spotify, and some other people have given us some good playlisting love. So we've been really lucky as a fully independent band to be helped out by so many different people. Well, when you've got the good vibe, I mean, everyone's kind of like, oh, hi. (laughs) You're the local party band. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it definitely relays uh, well for you guys. Yeah, it's fun. So do you have any new stuff coming up for 2017? We have more. we got another single that's coming out probably in July. We're just kind of figuring out which one's going to be. And we do another run of shows then. Basically a new song kind of every month and then about a week of shows to tour and promote it around. 
Well, considering it takes you guys, what, like an hour to write a song these days? I mean, that's kind of a cake. We spit it out. There you go. Time for a new new tour. We got a new song. Time to tour, boys. I can dig it. (laughs) So can you tell our viewers who don't necessarily know you guys what your socials are? Yeah, it's um, for Instagram, it's the Federal Empire. For Facebook, Federal Empire also. And then for Twitter, it's the Federal Empire, correct? Uh, Twitter is just Federal, Federal Empire, without and the, without. everything else is the Federal Empire or Got the it. FederalEmpire.com for our website. You can join our email list. We send out a bunch of free songs and things like that. Bunch That's of stuff awesome. I think, yeah, too. just throw uh, FederalEmpire.com uh, and you might find some uh, love. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of love out there. We give it away for free. Awesome, guys. Some free hugs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, man, it dude, was such a pleasure. So much, Absolutely. I appreciate you having us. You guys, morning. thank you so much. Dude. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Had a blast. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, Stick Stubbs. Back to you. Balcony TV.